people often say not to put labels on on anything, but that's what we're gonna do today. So I kind of want to make a quick video about um, the evolution of RPGs as all well, and the term RPGs on Roblox. Many people nowadays on RPG, on Roblox think RPGs are such as uh, the, a genre. Like people think when people think of RPGs, they think of role playing games, not like those games you find on, not like those type of games that you slash swords and stuff, like games like Adopt Me, but. I think of them as RP games, not like RPGs. Um, but yeah. Um, we're talking about MMORPGs here. So, basically, ever since... So, I just kind of thought I'd go over my thoughts on... Or basically, what, how I would consider... Um, labeling all the RPG um, eras throughout this year. So, basically, for those who don't know, I, I, I am a person who... Kind of puts RPGs into four different eras, currently. Start or soon to be more if the, if we do continue on this year. So when we, next year probably who knows. But basically, um, I consider these. I consider I consider basically four eras of RPGs. These four RPGs are the OG era, the influential era, the modern era, and the present day era. So for those who don't know, there are a couple. So what do I just say? Well, the OGs I talk about are. Lost Souls, no, not Lost Souls. Actually, yeah, Lost Souls, Lost Souls, um, Excalibur, and Rage's Cave. Those games were all were back were made all the way back in two thousand eight, and they're not having the best graphics in the world. However, though, we're not having the best like design in the world. Hey, that was Roblox Warrior back in two thousand eight. So, there's that. A lot of people huh, would say we were thinking about that. That was when big games such as Rage's Cave. What a big proper example that would be Rage's Cave. Rage's Cave, I think, has over four million. Visits, I think probably more than that. I do not know, but let me actually check right now. Actually, correction, it has three million visits. So yeah, um, these this was games that were made by fit made back in fifteen years ago, uh, two thousand eight to two thousand and uh, two two thousand eight to two thousand fifteen. Those games were basically not really like the best in looking, but they do have they do have a place in all of our hearts and their entire OGs. I'm not OG. I didn't join until like two thousand fourteen, but. But I mean, I'm, I'm I consider my, I kind of cause I really want to say I'm an OG OG, but more so like 2010 era type guy. So yeah, I'm that crazy because I can't believe I can't believe I have been playing Rogues for 10 years. I guess that's how it is. But really, yeah, that's pretty much all I say about the era. Those eras RPGs, RPGs, those RPG games really just been they've been they've they basically showed XP all that stuff. And all that. So that's basically OG era. Now next up is the influential era of RPGs. This is basically we're talking we're talking about big games that are still are still kind of popular to this day. That still are like parts. When people think of Roblox RPGs, they think of these games. They think of Legend of the Born so Bone Sword, Lead and Infinity RPG, Crimson RPG, and much more. So all those games, those games are really good. The popular have over ten million visits and all that stuff. And basically, those games have, or were influential and started, and basically what made what basically caused them to rhyme, cause all the RPGs, and that they basically made the RPG genre popular and all that stuff. Um, though we not, though I don't really want to talk about that one game, Night's Revenge. I um, mean, it was popular, but for the wrong reason. It was, I think, if I'm correct, it was copied by. It was a copy of Lost Souls, if I'm correct. So that's a little bit of an issue. But I mean, that's. Robux for you feels great and steel. This is how it is. Ugh, what type of generation we're living? Oh well. Anyways, so that's pretty much the RPG era. That that's pretty much that type of RPG era. Um, so the base includes um, it's basically a bit more updated, and all people and that but that's when people more people start playing Roblox. Many people, many many of the RPG games such as and RPG have reached over a thousand visits and or a thousand players concurrent, like. I remember playing the R and think RPG back in 2000 and, tw and back in 2021 or so that it gained it had over like 2000 to like 2000 current active players with their 20 times event. That is crazy. Though unfortunately it hasn't really blown up much since then. I mean the only thing we've heard from it is the Infinity Alcalation update. But I really haven't heard that about that since. So as a sign if you're watching this, feel free to keep me updated. I would like to see it. Anyways, that's about it for um the Infinity update. And then Krithum did say, and also Krithum, and before we move on to that, let's talk about Krithum's literal bone sword. That, right there, that is a masterpiece. I mean, I heard them in, in terms of the style, I mean, 
I mean, it really, they say, many people will say it was a masterpiece at the time, and uh, I mean, it kind of is a little old, outdated in, in terms of design, and though they did revamp back in 2021, am I correct? So, it kind of did, though it's starting to get a little old now, it's like three years old now, so, I think, I heard they're doing another, they're, they're making a revamp of that, which I think is pretty crazy. Like, if I go into their, um, you'll see that they're, that they're still doing a revamp of this game now. Most time ever is going into the new game right now. So, yeah, apparently, so, so Criticism hasn't really been up to date on this recently. Big part because of as many other projects. But I f do think that they still are doing this revamp still, even though it's kind of been kind of um, hit or miss. So, I really don't know what to say about that. But apart from that, that's basically the era of influential RPGs that we all know and love today. Probably, depending on how you look at it. I mean, but I mean, it's still, it's still, I mean... OG's, it's probably their an OG's favorite game, like Infinity and all that stuff. So, yeah. Now let's move on to games that are still that are pop, that are probably one of the most, that were most popular back in 2022, and kind of a little controversial, if you ask me. Now, we're going to talk about uh, modern RPGs. Now, a lot of people say this is probably one of the most controversial eras of its time. Currently, maybe because, probably maybe because it was like, it was more so inspired slash copied. A lot of people say it's controversial, a lot of people really didn't know what to think about it. I mean, we're talking about games such as Lords of Multiverse, T Last Chance 2, Universal RPG, Night Lordian, that's in that era. Um, let's see here, Challenge RPG, and much more. Challenge RPG is still actually still doing pretty well, actually. I think I consider it more of a new gen RPG game, even though it's pretty, like, it's it's more of like a new, like they had, they still do updates on it, honestly. And it's actually, it's actually, it's still holding up to this day. Like it's literally like, like it's seriously like still getting updates even after in, in 2024. Like I think they updated it to Zeta, which is crazy. Or Zeta, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but basically they did some, some Zeta update and uh, wow, come crazy that they're still doing it. So yeah, that's basically that. So there's also games such as, let's see here. Like remember Meldor RPG, not the game in 2024, but basically Meldor RPG, the newer one, the older one, that's basically, was made back in 2021. That is a modern modern RPG, and we also got we got a lot of there's, there's a lot of examples I can't talk about here because there's so many of them. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much about that. So no explanation needed. It's basically your typical. It's basically like a um, classic RPG rescanned to make it look like more Dark Souls like. I guess you could say like more design. It's more. I guess it looks more. How should I say it? It's like a. I feel like I should say it look, most RPGs there look a lot, look more vivid, if you ask me. So, yeah, that's probably all to say about that. So, and now let's talk about the last and most, and this most current RPGs that we currently have to this day. Now, this is where the big the game, the big names that are still up to this day are work on. We got games like Pilgrim, we got games like Shadovis, Shadovia, and Studlands, much more. Basically, the RPGs. That are both that are, that are separated from classic and actual RPG games. So yeah, so that's pretty much that it. So yes, from Jadovis is blocky style, Studlands is um blocks that have faces, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, you can clearly tell that there's a lot. It's it's different from what we have today. So I really don't know what to say. And there's I'll also not talk about Deep Woken. Sword Burst, I think that's from, I think, oh yeah, Sword Burst I think was back, it was me also made back, there's also Sword Burst 3 that came out recently, Sword Burst 2 I think is an RPG from 2000 and, I think the, the influential RPG year, I can't remember, but I do remember it blowing up at one point, I just haven't tried yet, yet, if you guys should, if you guys want to see a Sword Burst video, vote for them actually, I'll be down to do it actually, I just haven't really had time to do it, but I'm having time now to do this, make this video, so, yeah, we get. Okay, so I've been so yeah, that's really pretty much all the RPGs and all the years I had to talk about. So I just thought I'd talk about it just to make some time. So basically, to wrap up, there is just oh, so there are three areas. So that's pretty much how I, how I label the areas as the OG era, the influential era, the the modern era, and the new gen era. Or basically, the admit or the <laughs> at this point, I'm just I'm, pretty, I'm just I'm so tempted to call it the Orion era because of Orion's RPG kit, but it's probably gonna give me some. Your time in the comments saying, Oh, don't do it, please. It's not worth it. <laughs> oh my god, okay. But yeah, I think it's probably guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. It was just, just a quick, small video. I thought I'd just do it for fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is the beginning of six now. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more RPG content. Okay, well, I'm out here. Peace out.